I am Asiti Sevika from Brain Upper and Senior Secondary School. My hobbies include singing, dancing, and reading poems. My platform is about teenage pregnancy. I simply choose it as my platform simply because it is now rampant in the Gambia. And I want to discourage young teenage girls of not being such a victim. My reason of participating in this scholarship pageant is to showcase my talents. My name is Maria Majala from Teacher of Technical Senior Secondary School. My hobbies are reading, writing poems, listening to music. My platform is on teenage pregnancy. Why I choose teenage pregnancy? It is because it, it leads abortions, unwanted baby, single mothers. I am participating in this scholarship pageant because I want to show out my talent. I am Basse Mani from MDR, the Management Development Institute. I like reading, making friends, and music. My platform is to advocate for peace and security in Africa. Peace and security are indispensable to a meaningful development to take place, as we all know. I joined this competition purposely to represent my school and to stand a chance of winning a scholarship. Hi, my name is Emma Freda Gaman, a grade 11 commerce student of St. Joseph's Senior Secondary School. My hobbies include singing, dancing, and gymnastics. My platform is based on human trafficking. I chose it because it is a serious crime and a grave violation of human rights, and lots of people are affected. The reason why I joined the 22nd July Scholarship Pageant is to showcase my abilities and to raise awareness on human exploitation. Thank you. Hello, viewers. My name is Hannah Belford from GTTI. My hobbies are drawing and anything that deals with creativity. My platform is encouraging women in technical education for national development. I chose this platform to sensitize women so that the full participation of women can make a positive difference and promote sustainable development for our country. I joined this pageant to showcase my talent. At first, I thought that the pageant was just about being beautiful. But then I came to realize that it was about a confident, well-spoken young woman and girl out here who can make a difference in the world. You are taught here the art of public speaking, presenting yourself, presentation skills. You learn this from you stand up, you put your face up, and you ask a question because it's about the common rules that's in the book. Would you try that? Would you try that? Would you try that? Would you try that? It's within. Mm -hmm. Beauty starts with your hygiene. Right there. Beauty is, you always hear that. Beauty is within. It's who you are. It starts with your hygiene. It starts with what you wear. It starts with your attitude. If you have, if you a beautiful woman, and you became a rude person because you're beautiful. You rep it's who you are. Your clothes, your the way your body smells, your clothes, the way you represent yourself. When for me, when I go somewhere, I represent it myself. I want everybody to look at me. Okay, so I'm in the hair business. You always want to keep up with your hair. Maintain your hair. You get your relaxes every six to eight weeks. If you are natural, you still want to maintain the health of your hair. You still want to moisturize your hair. You still want to trim your hair. When you see me coming, when you see somebody coming, you see her clothes, right? When she gets it closer, what do you start looking at? Her face. Her face. Mm -hmm. And her and her hair. Yeah. And then she gets closer, you start looking at her face. That's where you look at. And then you look at her hair, and then you look at her nails. Mm -hmm. That's all presenting yourself. So your face, you have to take care of your skin. The moisturizing, that's where it comes from. You use the mild shampoo, you moisturize, you put, wash your face morning and night. You moisturize, you toe. And then for makeup, you well, I see people using makeup that are so light that are my complexion and she's using it. 
just because they want to be light. You use makeup is supposed to blend with what your skin tone. It's foundation. It starts from here. I see people just slap it on the eye. I see that all the time. When you do an eyeshadow, after you do it, you take you can take another hand and you rub it in. You you blending it into your skin. You put it in. And then you take another finger and you blend it. You're blending it in into your skin. The basic way of just start with one color when you're doing the eyeshadow. You guys are still here. Just one color. You don't even have to do three, four colors. It becomes too much. Just one color. You're losing who you are. And afterwards, it doesn't even look good on you. Sometimes we do find out that people use different colors for their eyes. For example, where when it does it match with their hair or what you're wearing. Is it right to wear a wear a brown? It's just it's supposed to be just brown. You know, it's supposed to be for your for your complexion. It's supposed to actually use brown, dark brown. What do you think? This red started, I think, from the Senegalese stars. I've never seen. I came here and I saw people wearing red. The only time I see people wearing red. Those are the actually Caucasian white people when they have red hair. Have you seen people that go to do extreme bleaching? Yeah. 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 They start sticking out. And I just want to know how it's like that. Yeah. Bleaching is actually made for when you have a skin disease. Those, all these products they're using is melted for skin disease. So they're using very, very harsh products on their skin. And when you see them all red, when you see somebody bleaching and the skin is actually red and you see the veins, most of the time they're using all those products, all those bleaching products that are very strong, and then they're not using sunblock. Because when you're using those products, you're not supposed to be on the sunblock. The doctors even tell you, when they give you stuff for your pimples or for your blackheads, you're not supposed to use it during the day because it doesn't go well with the sun. For life, then go on a good day. You can say that in your different languages, your different ethnic group, ethnic languages. And so when we begin, it's a chain. It's a chain that we don't want to break. We don't want to break the cycle of our national answer. That weapon, which will help us to and peace and so Let's now begin. What is it? don't sing it, you recite it. If it is song, you try to sing it. If it's being said, you say it with pride. It is yours. I haven't seen any that suits us and this theme for pro uh, promoting positive attitude in our team for sustainable development and for empowering our young women for to move for today and to move. So we begin. The national anthem. What are the words we hear? No, we say it. For the Gambia, our homeland, we strive and walk and pray. Now, listen. For the Gambia, our homeland, be proud. It is yours. Patriotism starts from all having that ownership and belonging. That this is where I belong and this is where I feel home, sweet home. I might be in America, anywhere else, but will I be as happy as I am here? This is where I, I can call that home. I won't call it home. No matter how long a stick is in the river, it will never turn to be a crocodile. You have that in your different proverbs, in your different um, ethnic languages. So let's be proud. We strive. Isn't this not part of the ingredients for success, for an achievement, for sustaining? You must work hard. Be, what is the word for working hard? To do what? Work? Work? 